Hi honeys, how's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. Okay, I'm getting ready to use my indoor electric smoker to smoke some already done ribs. Bought them like this. These are the St. Louis style. And these are the baby back. It's the market side brand. I think I got them from either Walmart or Jewel Foods. Okay, remember it says ready to heat. So these are fully cooked, but I'm going to smoke them. It says they're smoked. They said they're fully cooked hickory smoked. I'm going to smoke them some more, okay? So, <clears throat> let me lower this so y'all can see what I'll be using. Yeah, I got on my Just Winging It shirt. This is my merch. This was my first merch. Look like you just pick this wing up and bite it. But anyway, this is the smoker. Indoor electric smoker I'll be using. It's just like the Presto. <clears throat> but one of my honeys blessed me with this one. When they recalled all the Presto smokers. This was from Hamaker Slammer. And it's just a little bit different than the Presto. But it works the same. Okay. They also sell one on Amazon. It has another name. It's a little bit smaller than this, but it works the same. So it comes with three racks. Three racks you can put your meat on or cheese. Some people like to cold smoke cheese, which I know nothing about. Oh, comes with the Come on now, focus. Comes with this cup in here and a lid. So what you do is put these wood chips, these kind of wood chips you buy, you put in here. And they look like this. Now don't go put no charcoal in here, y'all. And don't put the little fine wood shavings in here. This is what you use, the chunks. And if you like a lot of smoke like we do, then fill the cup up, the inner coil and the outer coil. Fill it up. Just make sure you're able to put the lid down on it. Filling it up, then I'll show you how it looks. Come on now. That's too long. And you can buy these at uh, Amazon or Walmart. It's actually cheaper at Walmart. Okay, this is how this looks. The chips are in here. Okay, I'm putting this lid on here. And this used to be bright, shiny silver. But once you smoke something, you never get that clean again. So I don't worry about that. Okay, I'm going to plug it in. And I'm going to put the first rack in here. Okay, I'm going to put my foil, I'm putting foil on the rack. It's going to hold the meat. And it help with cleanup. And the smoke will permeate to the meat. This foil ain't blocking no smoke. I'm just kind of cupping the sides a little bit. Put the meat on the foil. And I'll be using two racks. So I'm going to open this. And I'll be back. Okay, that's how I got the first layer in here. This is the St. Louis slab. 
I'll just cut it. Okay. And here's the other. And I saved the sauce. Because this sauce is actually good. Okay, I'm going to put this other baby back slab in here. No, I'm not. I'm getting ready to season it. It's already seasoned, fully cooked, but you know me. So today I'm using the Cattleman's Barbecue Rub, Smokehouse Rub. And it has hickory, hickory smoke in it. I don't know where I got it from. That on there. You know I'm extra. And I forgot to tell you, when you plug that in, don't turn it on until you're ready to put the lid on. But you don't want your house filling up with smoke. You know what? I'm going to use some, uh, what's this here sauce? Now, put this lid on. Fit on there nicely. like nasty hands. Okay. I'm gonna scrape this sauce off. I want another layer of foil. Hmm. Like I said, it'll still be, the meat will still be smoking even with the foil. Believe me, y'all, I do this all the time. It's going to fold in the side a little. Put this meat on here. Now I'm putting the fat side down. I'm putting the meaty side up. So I'm scraping all this sauce off. This is the first time I've seen this brand of already done ribs in the store. So I had to try it. So far the sauce tastes the best from the other brands. Like Lloyd's and whatever other brands y'all see in the store. That's what I see. So these actually heat and eat ribs. But y'all know me. These are the baby back ribs. So they're curved to the bone. Walter likes these the best. I like the St. Louis. And the spare ribs. Okay. I'm just going to season the meaty side. I ain't seasoning the back. Ew. Season this. Walter really likes a lot of seasoning on his. This sauce and these ribs won't be dry because I'm gonna put this lid on here, make sure it's properly seated. 
make sure this stopper is in here. Um, Turn it on. Make sure that's down so the smoke don't come out. So I'm gonna set it for hot smoke. Hot smoke. And I'm gonna set it for I'm gonna set it for two hours, but I'm gonna stop it before two hours. It don't take that long to cook some already done food. Start. Okay, it's not going to start uh, counting down until the heating coil starts heating up. And then you're only going to see a few whiffs of smoke come out of here. And then that's it. Your house will not fill up with smoke. Okay. I'll leave a link for this and also for the Amazon brand. It worked the same. And I love it. Let me take this off so y'all can see. That's, how, that's the top layer. And the smoke will get to all the meat. Okay. And that's how much sauce I was able to save. Well, I'm going to doctor up the sauce too, y'all, even though it's good like it is. I taste it. Okay, I'll be back when this starts to count down. It's going to take about five minutes. Okay. Just started the countdown, and I see a few plumes of smoke coming out. That's all you will ever see. Okay. Keep that lid on there. Oh, there's a little... Your house won't fill up with smoke. That's what people worry about. So I got my sauce doctored up. So we're going to let it do what it do. And I'll be back in about an hour and 30 minutes. Okay, y'all. Just came in from starting up my car. As y'all know, it's below zero here. So this is the first time I started the car since. And it's been cold like this. Started right up. Okay, I'm going to stop it now. I set this for two hours and I have 44 minutes left. So what's that? How long have we been cooking? An hour and 15 minutes? 16 minutes? So I'm going to stop it and show you what I'm doing. Oh, let me stop this. Stop. Unplug it. You're going to see the smoke that's been contained. Oh, oh that's smoke. Oh, my. Nice and moist. This is the first slab. This is the baby back. Look at that. Okay. I've been looking for the, you know, the long plastic forks. You know, it's like the, you can find long plastic spoons or silicone spoons everywhere but I need the fork so if y'all see one let me know they used to sell them everywhere now I never see them talking about the fork like this I 
ain't talking about the barbecue fork. I'm talking about the silicone fork. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to cut these. separate the bones so they're ready to eat these are the baby backs come on try them keep sticking the bone okay I'm gonna do this later and it has uh, barbecue sauce this barbecue sauce back on the meat without dripping it everywhere. It feels good, don't it? Look at that. Like I said, it's moist. There you go. I can do that so I get ready to deal with it. Okay. Rack up. Still stay hot now. Oh, it's hot. These are the uh, St. Louis ribs. I mentioned that when my honey sent me the smoker, it felt bad for me because I had to cause the presto smoker was recalled. Oh, so they kept looking and he sent me this one. You found this. And I love it. When my honey sent me the set of Rachel Ray knives. There's honeys. Okay, it's up to the foil. Okay. Now there's my sauce on that paper. I'm going to show y'all down in here to clean up. Throw this foil away. That rack, minor cleanup. Well, I almost dropped this in there. That's all the cleanup I got to do. It's a little bit of grease. Of course, I have to empty that cup of. Uh, wood chips but I'll do that when it's completely cool so I'm going to cut these bones apart and then I'll be back here are my ribs y'all I'll do the taste test okay they look delicious they smell delicious didn't have to go outside to get the smoked flavor so let me do the taste test Here's a uh, uh, St. Louis grill. This is how the baby back ribs look. They curved.
nice tender seasoned smoky anything that enhances the flavor of your food I consider that a seasoning so smoke is a seasoning mm. very tender not dry at all mm -mm -mm. I like it soupy saucy oh my okay got me some barbecue so I want to thank you all for watching sorry y'all can't have none it's good and we still got greens left and uh, macaroni and cheese and candy yams left so that's what's going with it maybe because y'all know I'm a meat eater so, I want to thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs, two saucy thumbs up. Leave a nice comment and subscribe to my channel. And you all have a very blessed rest of the day. Bye. Bon appetit.